dressed in a hospital gown and on the run. Police have just released images of the last known movements of a dangerous Perth fugitive. Laurie John Dodd is now believed to be travelling with a woman. As the McGowan government tonight faces questions on how he was able to escape. Still in a hospital gown after escaping custody from Royal Perth, fugitive Laurie John Dodd was caught on CCTV in this East Perth street on Saturday. He's now believed to be on the run with this woman, Cher Blight. We are very concerned because uh, he has a very violent history. Police taking no chances earlier today when a tip-off was phoned through, but it wasn't Dodd at this Balcatta house. He's been on the run now for 50 hours after a violent crime spree last week. And that's double trouble for the Corrective Services Minister Fran Logan and Attorney General John Quigley. Yes. Dodd's escape looks like a prison's department security blunder. Have they failed the public in this instance? It's far too early to say that, yeah. And a dangerous sex offender, Edward Latimer, is back in custody after breaching his release orders not once, but twice in just days. Mr Quigley insists the system is working. Says the Labor system's working because he's behind bars right now. He breached bail. That would have worked on under anyone's... Uh government. Would it have? I don't think so. The two cases expose loopholes and lapses. How could Latimer have got bail at all with his history of offending? And why were two unarmed civilian contractors put in charge of Dodd at Royal Perth Hospital with his history of violence and escapes? Why were they looking after him, not say Corrective Services Special Operations Group? And this well, is the most, one of the most dangerous people in the state. Well, there was uh, the, that's what we're getting to the bottom of right now, uh, Gary. Premier Mark McGowan is also scratching his head. It is, to me, quite inexplicable. We are trying to get to the bottom of it as to what occurred and how he escaped. Well, I'll tell you what, Premier, there's an answer to this. Change your minister. Get on top of the brief. If anyone does know uh, where he is or they see him, uh, I'd go so far as to say ring triple zero. There will be no rest for police until Dodd is back behind bars. Indeed, every minute that Dodd remains on the run will keep the pressure on the McGowan government. If this fugitive should injure anyone in the community or the police, then the buck will stop with the minister. Michael, you can expect more scrutiny about this matter when Parliament resumes tomorrow. Let's hope they catch him soon. Gary, thank you.